welcome back to another hill vending blog in today's video i'm actually outside some storage units right now i'm gonna go over um how to buy a route how to buy a location i'm meeting with a gentleman he's 71 years old um he's looking to get out of the business his grandkids don't want to take over the business so he has machines that um are the brand and the style that i like so I'm gonna go with him today, check out his machines that he has in his warehouse and go on the route with him to look at the machines. He's got eight locations, I think 26 machines total. So ride along and let's see what he's got. Okay, so we just went to five of the locations, checked out the machines he had. He's looking to get out. Um, he does have some nice machines, Vendo 721s, some nicer uh, USIs with iVend. So I'm gonna go back, I'm gonna crunch the numbers, I'm gonna see uh, what price I feel comfortable with. They are smaller accounts than we normally like to do, uh, revenue wise, but the fact that it's nice equipment does make up for it somewhat. So I'm gonna go back, figure out the total number, number of machines. He wants uh, 20,000 for it. So he wants $20,000 for 26 machines and he does 25,000 a year in revenue. So on the face of it, that's not good for us and our system, but there's multiple variables that we're gonna have to contend with. So we'll see. Okay, so I'm back at the warehouse now. I put together all the information that he gave me today and I'm just gonna go over that a little bit with you and let you know how my thought process works on what to offer or if we're gonna make an offer on what he has to sell. So, to recap, he wants $20,000. He did 26,000 in gross sales in 2019. He's got seven machines in his warehouse. He's got 15 machines on location and a few that are scrapped that he understands aren't worth really anything. So, if this was any other situation, if these were any other type of machines, it would be a case closed, no way, not worth it. But, since they are Vendos, he's got seven Vendos, seven Vendo 721s, a couple uh, 621s, if he can work on that price because the way i think about it is these locations aren't aren't worth the equipment that's in there and to go there for you know a couple hundred dollars a month with a nice vendo 721 in there that's better at another location so we went to five of them there's a couple that we can go to um, later this week but my basic thought process is I'm only paying for machine value because the locations don't really have much value to us um, it's just too low in sales the good thing is that he has USI which we like the brand and Vendo we like that brand so I'm gonna have to make a decision as to is it worth uh, dealing with moving the machines picking the machines up bringing them back cleaning them up and getting them ready to go to another account so that's that's basically my thought process on the situation um, I want you to leave in the comments what do you think what about what you saw today did it kind of help you uh, if they help you understand in your area if a route comes available what to do so 
that's the basic goal is to show you an inside look into how to buy and value an account. So leave in the comments uh, any questions you have. And as always, until next time, keep your drinks cold and your snacks fresh.